Hey y'all, so I have an issue. Somebody brought back their chairs that I made and they want it about an inch shorter. Um, I got a call like two days ago asking me if I could do it. And of course I said, yes, they paid a premium for the chairs. So definitely trying to make it right for them. Um, I mean, he's sad in it, so I don't know. I don't know why he wants it shorter, but that's besides the point. So, I've been super nervous on how to make this cut. I um, I really need to keep it perfect because um, when I assemble the chairs, I use a jig to place the feet or the legs down, and I then attach it. So, if there's any play in in the construction. I'm able to level it out by attaching these as needed. So they're positioned perfectly, so I gotta make the exact same angle cut that's on there currently. Otherwise I'm gonna be messing around for hours um, trying, trying to get this right. So what I'm gonna use is a pull saw thinking about a circular saw, jigsaw, everything else. I just, I don't think I can get it accurate enough. Um, there's just not enough area here to put a saw on and ensure it's gonna cut straight. I was gonna use this um, pull saw, but uh, I just made a few test cuts and it was all kinds of crooked. I made like three test cuts with it and it was not a good result. The benefit of this is it has bigger teeth and so it cut through it a lot quicker, but it's just not nearly accurate enough. So I have this little one I bought off Amazon, super cheap, but it makes great cuts. I use it to cut dowels. Um, I, I just cut another test piece with this and it was dead straight. So I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna get a, um, they want an inch off. So I cut a spacer that's just barely short of an inch so I can draw my line and cut it off and then I'm going to use some glide coat for the blade, some tape, and a square so hopefully that should be all I need to do and uh, I'm going to try and position y'all so you can see this. The reason why I'm showing it is um, whether you're cutting a chair or anything else you make a mistake or need to adjust it um, this might give you a new option of trying to make that as precise as you possibly can. Normally we just cut our wood the right lengths, assemble it and it's all good, but occasionally we run into a roadblock and need to make an adjustment like this. So uh, let's see what happens. So using this gives me a way to make sure I line it up exactly on the same angle. Here's some wall on it, but I'm really.
So that's the cut. It's definitely straight and dead flat. But the only question is, did I cut it straight or in or out a little? Hopefully that shouldn't matter too, too much. Um, because of the furniture pad. So according to this, I went in just a little. Michael Long at MK Designs. Appreciate you, buddy. 